Howdy folks, it's Taltrail here and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Still working on the Spitsbergen Norway mainland bush trip. We're halfway through in terms of legs anyway, not halfway through in time. Not a long time ago after that three hour leg. Anyway, I assume you know what we're doing since this is the third video, so let's get going. Alright, we're parked on a hill I guess, but um, same weather as before obviously. Whoop, I forgot I can't. Ah, too many, too many buttons. Um, same weather as before, it's loading things and... We have not needed to clear the weather yet, so maybe we can continue without having to clear the weather. We'll see. The weather's been a big deal on these last two bush trips. Um, the one before this and this, not legs, but actual bush trips has been an issue. Is there enough space to get by? Yes, there is. Alrighty, so again, third leg of the series, so I assume you know what's going on. Um, but just in case... Uh, we are in Norway, and have to do anything else? I think that's all I have to do. Um, we're in Norway. Flew from the highest point of land of Norway, across the water, to the highest point of Europe, and now we're just going along the northern shore of Norway and checking something along the way. I'm trying to be quiet because um, my family is doing something next to my office downstairs, which they normally don't do, so... I'm just trying to figure out how to do this without making too much noise. We're going to go right onto the runway, so we're going to get tactile lights and everything on. It should have a beacon before we started. These don't work. We will need all of the um, de-icing we can get. And that doesn't do anything. Anything over here? I think everything is there. This is not a complicated airplane to fly. I always think it is, but it isn't. I think all this downstairs, yeah, you're going to just downstairs. <laughs> this is just, um, so you're comfortable in the cabin. Some lights, don't really need them right now, but you get the idea. Alrighty, so anyway, let's let that calibrate. Let's read about where we're going. We're heading to Enon, 45, 47, whatever minutes, so about an hour for me. Because it always takes me longer. Lift off and set a course to the west. I have a navigation A, use NDB, which we're not going to do. We're just going to use GPS. Um, which makes me think, what I need to do sometime is go on Sky Vector, plan my own flight, using NDBs and VORs, and fly Slant Alpha, like I used to in the olden days. Uh, there's our final destination, where's the one in between? Must be behind that, maybe. Anyway, um, like I used to in the olden days. I kind of miss it, kind of don't. Um... Yeah, NDBs, VORs, all kinds of stuff like that. Anywho, we're using GPS today. Gain altitude. I wonder how high... Oh, yeah, look at this. We got it clear. Definitely gain some altitude. Very exciting. Okay. Pass over lake streams and strands of forests. And then cross the border with Finland. Ooh. Shortly after the border, fly over the Por Poronio River, located in the northwestern arm of the country. Oh, Okay. So, um, only seven minutes for that, so that's pretty easy. And then we'll read about the other stuff as it happens. So, let's get GPS set up. I mean, a GPS autopilot. Uh, let's go 10,000, see if that's enough. It may or may not be. I could Google the height of these mountains, but... Um, is there a way to, like, make it go faster? Nope, that's VNAV. Sometimes if you hit the middle thing, you can go up by thousands instead of hundreds. As you can hear my mouse going, and this is taking forever. There's 8,000, 9,000, and 10,000. All right, so flight director is on using NAV for GPS. We're going to do vertical speed. I don't use VNAV on this. I don't even know if it works. It might. It might not. I don't know. Let's climb rather aggressively, um, unless we get too slow. And there you go. Simple as that. We're going to hand fly towards the purple line to make sure it actually works, because on the other <laughs> leg, it didn't work first so we'll see otherwise yeah that's it alrighty so we're gonna take off um there's a tower here no it's untowered no wind data do we have a wind sock because it was super windy when we came in here and I'm just wondering if I can find a wind sock um to determine I don't see one maybe one will render in later um I don't know we came in on 33, so I guess we should maybe leave on 33. Pretty sure it was 33. Select a taxi. 
36, sorry. Um, let's do that. Let's use 36. Let's announce taxi heading to the west in this case. Echo November Kilo Alpha Traffic Turtle Soup Tango 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 41 taking off runway treat 6 departure to the west. Alrighty, there we go. Get comfortable in my chair, close to my microphone. Hopefully nobody is being disturbed by what I'm saying. Um, runway 36, so there we go. It's already set, so we want to use the runway. We want to use that runway. So, flaps down one notch. There we go. Favorite taxi view. Let's taxi on out. And then we'll, um, take off, turn around a little bit, line up with our GPS at autopilot, because last time we hit autopilot too soon, and it didn't pick it up. It was going somewhere else. Um, B for barometer, we're good there. We have plenty of fuel. I didn't fill it up, but we don't need to. And then we'll be on our way. Alrighty, coming up to the end of the runway. We are going steeply downhill, I think. So maybe we should have taken off from the other direction to land uphill, but it was so windy coming in here that I'm assuming the wind is going to be the same. This is no wind data right now, but when we take off, we might run into some. So let's make sure we can turn steeply. There we go. I do not have differential braking set up, so I need to just go a decently slow speed and use the brakes if it gets too fast. That'll go sharper. Um, I have rudder pedals that are high end, but they don't have tow brakes. I guess I could do differential braking um, on my keyboard or something. Oh, that might actually be a good idea. Oh, then I could turn really quickly. Oh, I should do that. I should look up, map some differential braking on my keyboard. There we go. So I could jump bicycle ramp. Brakes to stop the wheels, gears fix, and there we go. Look at, see? I'm glad we used this runway because we have a headwind of 16 knots. So, we're going to turn around. Uh, how are we, though, on mountain and terrain? We're good. Let's make a U-turn. I uh, should have gone the other way, probably. Uh, it doesn't matter. And then we'll, um... Uh, is that pointing at the right thing? It's not pointing at the right thing, see? So let's turn around and see if it flips. Once we get back with the report, and then we'll get autopilot. And then we'll do some sightseeing, because you already, already read about what we're doing. Lake, streams, and mountains and other things. There's the airport there. was not difficult to find. I was worried about it. I guess the GPS helped. There's traffic on the road. And... We're still... And now the GPS flipped. Did it just flip when I was looking outside? I think it did. No, we're not done turning around yet. No, that's not right. Alrighty, let's keep turning around. And if GPS does not flip to the next thing, then we'll have to use heading bug, which is how we would normally do it without GPS anyway. I'm just enjoying the scenery and the traffic. The houses kind of stick out because there isn't snow on the roofs, but maybe the maybe the sun melted it off. There we go. Look at that beautiful scenery. Okay, how are we doing? No, nope, we still gotta still gotta get up there. How am I climbing? I'm climbing pretty steeply at 3,000 feet per minute. <laughs> Let's trip down a little bit, shall we? Good grief. Alrighty, I'm hoping once I touch this line, it will um, flip over because the GPS is pointing the wrong way still and wants us to go backwards. That does happen sometimes after you've left the sim, which I have done. And we do have anti-icing capability, but let's stay out of these clouds for now. So let's go through here. And see what happens when we get to this line. We're about to cross the line, and I don't think the GPS is going to cooperate. How about this one? Yeah, that was also wrong. I do have a trim, though, for a nice steady climb up to 10 grand, and GPS is not flipping. So what we're going to do, what does that thing say? 258. So let's set the hiding bug to 258 as we turn ourselves here. Do two things at once. And this is what we'll use to guide us. Or I could just stare at the line, of course. Let's do autopilot, yaw damper. There we go. So, uh, oh, we got to go heading bug. Whoops, sorry. It was going to circle us all the way back to get to the purple line. We don't want that. We want the heading bug at 258. Or I'll just look at the screen here and 
adjust it to stay on the line, but close enough. So anyway, 10, that's our um, river we're looking for right here. So there you go. So I'm going to keep climbing to 10 grand. I'm using my heading bug to adjust for wind. And I remember tracking the heading are two different things. I can do heading, but the wind is going to have to track something else. So you got to adjust your heading so we don't get blown off course. So I'm going to actually go about 263 right now. And then we get to the river. Join me again, and we'll talk about the next thing. So enjoy about 45, 60 seconds of sightseeing. We're coming up on the river and look at this. Look at this wind. 22 knots. I am 267, so what am I? I am 9 degrees off just to stay near the line. I'm still getting blown around. Isn't that crazy? But hopefully we can intersect this river in the right spot. So let's look. Oh, there it is. A beautiful river. And we saw, hopefully in the sight, seen some mountains. and Well, mountains are mostly covered by clouds. But we saw some... Um, lakes and streams and things so there is your river how beautiful is that pause the video if you want to stare at it but we are going to read about the next thing where can we see it best let's look out this window all right so after the river eight minutes now we're going to go to a lake after overflying the river continue maintaining course and fly to the heart of the wilderness area you can pause and read about this if you want to i don't want to like move my voice um wait it is renowned for being the highest part of the country at 4,000 feet. So we don't have to be at 10,000 feet. <laughs> okay. I mean, we have an option. We can stay at 10,000 feet and skip across the clouds or we can go into the clouds. Let's stay where we are and stay across the clouds. I feel a bit safer that way. Uh, maintain heading and pass to the north of the lake. It's called Termizavi. I think, I don't know, and then sight the lake in the mountain. Um, local high point stands at 1,800 feet. You can pause and read more if you want to. Three Country Karen, the monument. I doubt we'll see the monument from here. Where it borders Finland, Norway, and Sweden. Lies just to the north of the lake. Pass into Sweden. Interesting. At the midpoint, continue on course. So that's eight minutes out. Okie dokie. Well, let's, um, look at this. We're still... <laughs> We're still getting blown south here. This is crazy. I'll keep an eye on this, and then we go to the lake, I guess. And when we get to the lake, this looks like a river, but they said it was a lake. We'll pass into Sweden. Okay, see you in a couple minutes.
we're coming up on the lake and look how far south we are still. Still, we're so far south. It's just crazy. Oh, that's a good sized lake. Look at that. Lots of snow covered roads. And there you go. So we're going to fly to the midpoint of the lake and then we're going to turn into Sweden. So let's read about the next place here as we fly over the the lake that we can no longer see and I have hiccups. Let's go this way. We're going to turn that way, I think. Although not by much. For 11 minutes now, fly over the lake, continue on course, fly to the north of that place. A prominent mountain standing 4,700 feet. Again, we're not going to come down because I want to cloud hop or cloud skip or cloud surf, whatever you want to call it. And then that way we'll see more stuff too than being clouds. Um, pass over back into Norway. Fly over Leo. Rostavten, Rostavten, a large lake, and then follow the general course of the river to the NDB. So we're just going to fly over a large lake and follow a river. 11 minutes out. And we still have a few places to go after this. So um, we're going to keep our altitude. Uh, let me zoom out. There's our large lake there. And then we'll follow the river. Okay, so when we get to the large lake... When we get to the large lake, we'll start coming down to our usual, like, 4,000, 4,500 feet or so. And then we'll try to get below, below train level, because that's the most beautiful thing is when you're below train. And I might just have to make adjustments. And then we'll head, head on down to where we're going, which is not on the map yet. So, maintain altitude, come down once we're past the lake, nice and low, and then we'll fly out of the fjord-type thing. Head back out to the ocean. Very simple. And, um... See you, see you at the lake, I guess, and then we'll start coming down. I about missed it because I was reading something <laughs> for my kids and I almost missed the lake. So there we go. Time to read about the next thing and follow along and start coming down. So let's start our slow descent. What did I say it was going to be? Like 4,500 feet or something. And then I'll adjust my heading bugs so they don't hit that mountain in front of us. So 4,500 feet vertical speed. Bring it down. Uh, it doesn't have to be too crazy. Energy per minute. Bring back throttle so you don't overspeed. It's just heading bugs so we don't hit that mountain. There we go. I want to go through here between that mountain and that mountain. Did I go too far? I may have. We'll see here. Anyway, what's next? Next is... Did I already read this one? No. Turn on Northwest Heading and follow the river to the airport. Another NDB which we won't use. Fly to the north of the airport. And then skirt the edge of the lake. So we're not landing there, we're just flying there. Okay, we're using it as a target. Pass to the south and fly over and reach the corner of Senja. Senja is the fifth largest island in Norway by area. Interesting, you can read about the rest of that if you want to. That's nine minutes out. And then we'll read about the conclusion of this leg, the penultimate leg of the Norwegian. Push trip. Well, yeah, we got off track here. Let's um, 
go between the mountains because we are going to be descending constantly. Ooh, we don't have to go that slowly. Let's speed up, though. We'll be descending constantly. We'll get to 4,500 feet long before the airport, but that's just because I want to cruise along at 4,500 feet. Not because we need to get there to land or anything. That's just where I want to be. I'm using the GPS over here to aim us with the heading bug. Um, like so. Pretty straightforward, pretty basic. But if you don't know what you're doing, it's not necessarily easy either, right? So um, that's why I'm always happy to answer questions and talk about what I'm doing. It might be obvious to me, but it might not be obvious to everybody. So now I'm just watching my speed to an overspeed, and we're headed towards the airport. We're going to fly over the airport. There's another river and lake. Um, and we're aiming for that NDB. So when we get there, we'll read about the next thing because we're going to be reaching the largest island or second largest island. So there you go. Have a ways to go. I'll give you some sightseeing. Cut it down just for a minute or two for you, and I'll see you in a bit. I'm adjusting course because the wind is blowing us all over Timbuktu and um, we just reached our 4500 cruise low cruise altitude I'm just keeping an eye on our speed to an overspeed beautiful shot here of this other lake which was behind the airport so we're, we're, we, we, we are where we are supposed to be wow that was hard to say another lake up there I was thinking for fun since we can't really Use a GPS. Let's tune in the NDB if we can figure out how to do it in this. So it says to use. Um, where are we? To we went way past Tiller. Here we go. We're looking for this one. 414. Alrighty. So let's tune in 414 here on the ADF. So how do you do this? I have no idea how this works. Um, do you like turn stuff? I've never done this before, obviously. Okay, so there we go. Um, there's four. This can't be right. No, okay, we're gonna use zero. No, that's still, there we go. Four, one, four. And then how do we swap it? Enter. But how do we swap? Um, do we push it? Oh no, that changed it to something else when I did that. I don't know how to swap it. Oh, maybe that. Alright, 414 swap. There we go. 414. But now we have to figure out how to get it to do NDB because localizer isn't NDB because if it were it'd be pointing pretty much straight ahead and it's not that isn't either that obviously isn't um it says nav 1 DME is mode nav 1 well that's localizer 1 localizer 2 GPS so how do I get to nav 1 what if I hit enter and what if I go down here hit enter nothing. What if I go down here, hit enter. What if I cycle through um, nav 2? No. Okay, well the GPS is doing is no good, so we're still going to use the heading bug, and we're about to be oh, gall. In the clouds now. But anyway, this is where the NDB is, somewhere around here, so there we go. Okay, too bad it's cloudy, can't see a whole lot, but 
Let's um, get our heading bug adjusted here so we stay more on course now that we're turning a little bit. Okay, I think the next thing to read about is just before the airport, right? And then the airport, so... Looking for a lighthouse. Well, once at the NDB, set it to another NDB, which is pointless because I can't figure out how to tune it. And adjust course. Fly to the north of that place, a prominent peak in that area, and pass over the inlet. You can read about National Park if you want to. Fly out, known as the feeding area for sperm whales and orcas. Gain a visual on the northern end of Andoya, and let's see, uh, Andoya, a long narrow island that is northernmost island in that area. So, I got something to say about something this. Lighthouse, look for the lighthouse, which is on the northwest corner of the settlement, which is past the airport. <laughs> so, basically, we're going to fly past the airport and come back if you look at the map over here. There you go, we'll look at Utala's lighthouse in Norway. So, we're going to look for the airport if we can, and then we'll land at the airport. So yeah, it looks like we're going to fly past the airport and then try to land at it. And then let's see if it's a towered airport. Oh, see, now we're just in the clouds. I don't want to go below the clouds. Um, Enan is on there. Is it towered? It is. Let's um, listen and talk to them. And we'll call for a full stop landing. Andoya Tower Turtle Soup Tango 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 41 is tree 6 miles east, 4,500 feet with Charlie to land. Turtle Soup Tango Tango Tango, 4-1 Andoya Tower. Altimeter, 2 niner decimal niner, 2 wind tree, 3-6 three, at 2-2. Two, two. Fly right base, runway tree 2. Enter right base, runway tree 2, Turtle Soup Tango Tango Tango, 4-1. <laughs> so coming from the north-northwest at 22 knots. Ooh! So we definitely need to use their runway. So... Runway, what was it? 20, runway 32. At least it's going to be a headwind, pretty much. So we'll look for the lighthouse. Whoops, let me get a little bit more speed here. We're going to look for the lighthouse up here. Then we're going to do probably a left traffic pattern all the way around to that airport. So even when we get out here, we still got like 5 minutes, 10 minutes to go. So we're going to run a little longer than I thought, but that's totally okay. I'm going to keep my speed up. We have a little bit of sightseeing as we go over these mountains. Now I might have to climb. No, because I think the highest point is 4,700 feet, and that was when it was orange. This is just yellow. So we'll go over the mountains low, take on the train turbulence. I'll do emergency climb if I have to. So enjoy the sightseeing along the way, and um, we will look for a lighthouse a little bit. Alright, just a few things here. First of all, beautiful mountains that were probably closer than what would be safe in real life, but, um, well, maybe not. I want to be a thousand feet. We're a thousand feet away. Easy. Yeah, easy, easy thousand feet. Alrighty, anyway, that's beautiful. We're going to fly out open water for a couple of minutes before we hit our lighthouse and airport. But I'm trying to still tune in the dang ADF thing, NDB. So I tuned in the new one. Um, 112, because that's what it said in the log, and it says exit to transfer, or enter to transfer, so I hit enter and it transferred. We still don't know how to tune it in. Um, I don't know why I can't figure this out. Like, normally you would just do CDI, right? I know that's CDI based on the GPS information. Alright, I decided to tune in the VOR for fun, so there we go. VOR1, so this tells us how to get to the airport. 
Well, we have to decide on the course you want to go in at. Does it say what course to use, or does it say to go straight in? What's wrong one? Because with an NDB, you just fly towards it based on an inbound radio. You choose. Just this adjust course appropriately. Well, that's kind of funny. So what you do is you take your course here. Like, whoa, why did it do that? And you adjust your course and say, we want to fly in at this heading. So what you can do, or you can say, we want to fly into this heading. So you go like this. Let's actually go like this a second. I'll show you how it works. 266. So as soon as you cross that line, which will be in just a second here. Now, now you want to set your heading to 266. And fly it in based on wind changes and blowing you around. So now we're heading towards the airport, because if you look at the VFR map, or zoom in the GPS, you will see that the... Whoa, did mean not mean to do that. The VOR is at the tail of the airport, at the runway we want to land at, but we don't want to land there. So we're going to fly there until we get visual, but we're going to fly up to the lighthouse, the left traffic pattern, and come back in. That's how VORs work. Those are easy in this airplane. I never did figure out the... Um, um, ADF, NDB thing, so whatever. But VOR, that's easy. So now we're good there. And we keep our speed up. And we're flying over open water, so not much to say. I don't think we need any more sightseeing. I don't want to come down. Or maybe I do. Let's come down. Now, let's stay nice and low. Uh, let's stay at 2,700 feet. That's very low, but that's going to be beautiful. Come down. Let's do 1,000 feet per minute. Bring back throttles quickly, so an overspeed. Oh, goodness. There we go, bring them back even more. And, on the GPS you can see where we're headed. Oh, see how the wind blew us? See, 266, 266, now we're south because of the wind. So we're going to take this. A little bit aggressive here. Once we line up, we'll slowly draw back the heading until we stay lined up. You can calculate the angles and everything based on wind and tracking and heading and all that. I used to do that can't remember how to do it. I'm sure if I look it up, we come back like you're riding a bike. But anyway, there we go. See, we're already getting back on track. So I'm going to whoops, bring back the heading slowly here and then see what it takes to stay there. And I'll see you. Oh, goodness. Not much to see out here. I'll see you in just a moment. That does look beautiful, though, doesn't it? Wow. Oh, we got some icing here. So let's squirt the windshield. There we go. Put it back on the frame for now. Okay, oh geez. So we got mountains, there's our airport. Very straightforward. So our Well, wind still didn't blow us south enough. That was a little a little solid there. Good, it kept us north. So there's a VOR, no problem. Um we're gonna fly here. Actually we're gonna go right before it, look for the lighthouse on the land. So let's um turn off autopilot right now, I guess. So, let's take off autopilot, and, um, they might give us clearance to land, even though we're <laughs> not landing yet, but we'll see what happens here. Oh, I see the lighthouse sticking up right there. Can't miss it, it sticks out like a sore thumb, so we'll go over it, and then we'll, um, hover around it or whatever, and away we'll go. So, did not have to change weather again, that's amazing. We got to see a lot, though, even with the weather. Which is also amazing. And um, now we get to fly and fly. We're going to have us descend nice and low so that we can see the lighthouse. If I have to climb again and see the airport, the runway, I will. If, if you're too low, of course, you cannot see your runway. So we'll just fly around the sound. Or not, I guess is that kind of a sound? I don't know, like the wave break or whatever they call them. Um, we'll just use that. Trim back a little bit because I'm fighting it. There you go. A city filling in. It goes all the way up to the water. But I'm going to throw this in there because it is a point of interest. And then we will get clear to land very soon. There's your lighthouse. Can't remember what it's called, but there it is. Right there in the very middle of your screen. Hard to miss. And it's the tallest one in all of Norway, I guess. There you go. Beautiful autogen area, too. Look at that. That's incredible. Oops, see some cars down there. All right, here we go. Let's climb a little bit. 
It's about 700 feet. I want to be able to see the airport. Doing a tight left traffic pattern here. Way below pattern altitude. <laughs> We're going rogue. As long as we don't pull the Harrison forward and we land on the actual runway, I think we'll be fine. I was tempted to buzz the tower, but this is close enough. So here we go. We should be getting clearance to land any moment now. Hopefully it's before we do land. Wave out the tower. And we just pass the VOR. See it down there? Um, there's probably right there. Or maybe right there. No, those are landing spots. Do you see it in the... It could be there too. I'm looking... Oh, actually, it's probably... I'm looking for it in the satellite imagery. I don't really see it. Um, I think the one in Minneapolis made it into satellite imagery, though. So are we clear to land or what, buddy? Enter right... Base. Yeah, we're gonna fly right. We did left base, but what? We, yeah, we did do left base, didn't we? That's fine because we had to look at the the lighthouse. Whoa, bring back throttles in it. What? Wait a second. What was that? I brought back flap, 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 full flap. I brought back throttles and it just pointed up. Goodness gracious. Um, why are we climbing at eighty thousand feet per minute? What was this? What is this nonsense? That was very strange. I don't understand what happened there. I brought path throttles and it shot us straight in the sky. Anyway, we're just crawling now, but that's fine. Full flap. I mean, I know the flaps make you float, but that was specifically when I did throttle. No, I didn't. I did throttle before I did flaps. I did flaps because we were getting so slow. Yeah, so I don't know what happened. Alrighty, why are we not clear to land? Do they forget about us? I guess I have to tune approach? No. Now I'm all screwed up. Um, whatever. Andoya Tower Turtle Soup Tango 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 41 is two miles southeast, 1,300 feet, with Charlie to land. Turtle Soup Tango 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 41 Andoya Tower. Altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 2 in tree tree 7 at 2 2. Fly straight in runway tree 2. Turtle Soup Tango 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 41 follow the aircraft on final. Wind Tree Tree 7 at 2 2. Clear to land runway Tree 2. Clear to land runway Tree 2 Turtle Soup Tango 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 41. Alright, I don't know what aircraft we're following. Are we going to get run over by a 737? That has happened before. Turtle Soup Tango <laughs> Tango Tango. Going around Turtle Soup Tango 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 41. It says go around because we probably have a big plane behind us, but I'm going to land and we're getting in trouble and that's okay. Um, getting kind of slow. Oh dear. I was so busy waiting for 737 to go through us, I wasn't paying any attention. Man, no excuse for a bad landing. That was, oh, that was a great approach, other than we're not following instructions. Anyway, you can still see the lighthouse. I'm staring at the lighthouse. Oh, we're going to touch on that stall. Come on, how slow can we go? With this insane headwind, this is awesome. Jeez. Oh my gosh, it doesn't want to touch down. Why won't you touch down? Come on. Now we go, there we go. Turtle soup, tango, tango, tango. 4 1, you are not clear to land. Clear the runway. <laughs> Oops. Oh, and the reverses are still on. That happens sometimes where the reversers won't disengage when they push the button. Anyway, we'll clear the runway. Turtle soup, tango, tango, tango. Four one, you are not clear to land. Clear the runway. I still don't see any aircraft coming through us. Let's see if there's Turtle some. Turtle soup, tango, what? tango, tango. Four one, contact ground on one one eight decimal two. I don't see any aircraft out there, so I don't know what they were talking about. Anyway, here we go. Going to 118 decimal 2 turtle soup tango 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 41. And Doya ground turtle soup tango 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 for one taxi to parking. Turtle soup tango 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 41 taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway delta cross runway 21 cross runway tree 2 cross runway 21 alpha. 
Taxiing to General Aviation Parking via Taxiway Delta Cross Runway 21 Cross Runway Treat 2 Cross Runway 21 Alpha Turtle Soup Tango 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 41. We're clearly not following those instructions either. We're just gonna hang out at the tower and have some lunch and maybe if we buy them some food then we'll get so mad at us, right? Alrighty, parking brake set. Um, let's turn everything off now just so that it starts the process because it takes so long. I'm not doing this in the right order. I just want it to um, to not take a hundred years to end our flight, so I just did it in a weird way. I even have all the lights on and everything. This isn't the full flight where I do everything by the book. It's just the bus trip. There we go. All right. Ooh, took way longer than it's supposed to. All righty. You know the drill. Subscribe so you know when the final leg comes out. Hit the like button because people need to know we exist for a bunch of reasons I've mentioned in other videos. And I'll see you next time.